Well, hello there, it's Ina here and welcome to my art room. So today I will start with this small used canvas a friend passed on to me. Now most likely this image will be covered completely as I want to use up bits and pieces of craft papers I have in my stash. Now today's project is inspired by an art class I took at the beginning of the year. It was an online class hosted by Denise Cerro. Denise is a great artist. She's an art teacher. She's based in California. And I have recommended her channel to you before a couple of times in my past videos. But if you have not uh, seen her art yet, please do follow the link below. It's worth a visit. She does all kinds of different mixed media uh, projects. She does paintings. She's also an accomplished assemblage artist. And she just has a really wonderful style. Now, working on this canvas today is definitely inspired by the class I took and by Denise's work as a whole, but it doesn't represent all the steps we went over in the class. Of course, this is my own version, short version of what we did. And it's also hardly comparable with Denise's work. She is an expert. She does amazing collage paintings. And as I said earlier, please do check it out. So up to now, I covered most of the canvas with paper using my Mod Podge. And now I'm layering some acrylic paints and I dry. So in between, then more layering and so on. It's really just building up a background of papers and paints. Some paints will be stronger, uh, others will be diluted. Uh, you can scratch into it, you can add a uh, texture paste, you can make circles and lines and dots and splatters. It's really up to you. You can experiment with this as I do because some of the colors got a bit dark. So I took my baby wipe and took some of it off again and so on. It's really a very playful way to create an interesting uh, background. So I'll leave you to it for now. I will like always add my mediums in the captions for you and I will talk to you when needed, but definitely towards the end. Enjoy.
So by now you most likely got a good idea where this is going. I am creating a negative painting, so to speak. And yes, in the process, you will have to cover up some of your background. But in mixed media, that's so often what we do, as all those layers add to the overall look and dimensions of the piece. I purposely picked a very simple design fitting to this small canvas. Now, Denise loves to work on big canvases, and of course, you have lots more options. You can absolutely go with a shape that by chance you are under layer created, and that can lead you into an inspiration for your final design. Maybe you see some mountains or some houses or some flowers. In this case, I completely started with a fresh design. I didn't take any clues from my background. I mainly use it, as you can see here, for the bright color and the interesting uh, texture to peek through. So I finished up by adding another layer of Mod Podge, this time the glossy type. I also painted the edges black as you can see. And the whole thing has lots of nice texture. You can see interesting colors and designs peeking through. And even though this is a simple design, I hope it gave you some ideas of what you could create with this kind of technique. Those two road signs are mainly added for just a little bit of unique interest. All right, so aside from this canvas, I want to also show you the one I worked on during the class. It's not much bigger and it has a very similar design as you can see. But I started with lots more layers, lots more colors. I also added some images. You can see a little truck right here on the top. There is a bird over on this side. There is a butterfly embedded 
another bird. And then here on the bottom at the end, I added these cutouts of bottles uh, made from craft paper. I added a dimensional paint on the edges and so on. But otherwise it was done very similarly. Now I think the colors on these mushrooms came out a bit dark. And I think that's just something you have to watch out for when you layer a lot of paints. Uh, but otherwise it's a very simple and fun technique. Now, I purposely picked a small canvas, a simple design for today's video, because I need some quickies so in between, as my assemblage videos really take up a lot of time, and there are only so many days in the week. So I hope you enjoyed today's project. I see you next week, and bye-bye for now.